that uh, Georgia sent to you guys? Uh, I mean, they, they, they present a lot of challenges, especially in the defensive end. Uh, you know, just with how they, you know, how they get into formations and how they uh, block everything up. You know, everything is going to be kind of a challenge as far as stopping the running game. And that's, that's going to be the biggest key in this game. Is there anything that you're impressed by, like that they do offensively? Uh, definitely. Uh, actually, one thing I'm really impressed by is their play action pass and uh, the, the receiver core. Uh, the, the receiver core isn't really talk, uh, talked about a whole lot, but right. they actually have some pretty nice receivers. They got those, those uh, running backs that you guys have to worry about. Definitely. Uh, the running backs, you know, they have three versatile guys, you know, that, that can go. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna have to be ready to stop them. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. How would you sum up your season right now, thus far, the team in person yourself? Uh, the team is as close as it's ever been, you know, since I've been here in my four-year journey. Uh, you know, we, we've had a lot, a lot of success as far as in practice and, and getting everybody, you know, right as far as uh, preparation goes and uh, to get us ready for each and every game. So that includes scouts, that includes uh, second team, third team, uh, first team, you know, everybody, everybody on this team, everybody who's going closer together and everybody's been practicing hard <coughs> and uh, preparing hard. What, what is uh, your job as far as getting the, your teammates ready uh, and the unit ready? My job is to be in the film room, uh, basically putting this defense together, helping this defense together, so really molding everybody and uh, being the glue to the defense as far as uh, communication and uh, making sure everybody gets the call. Have you seen anything close this season to uh, Georgia's offense? Um, I, I wouldn't say so. I, I feel like Georgia kind of has their own unique uh, type of offense. You know, it's similar to Ohio State, but I wouldn't say it's Ohio State. I feel like, you know, they have their own brand, which is more of an SEC type of brand. It's kind of what we faced last year a little bit versus Auburn. Uh, you know, they're going to come, <clears throat> try to come at you, and, uh, and um, you know, they're, they're going to basically try to run the ball and establish the run. Thank you. What would you say you do to prepare yourself mentally and physically before games? I'm sorry, what do I do? Um, what do you do mentally and physically to prepare yourself before games? Uh, mentally, mentally and physically, I mean, I just try to make sure that, you know, I'm prepared as far as, uh, you know, a captain goes, you know, making sure that I can call out some of the things that they're going to do or run, uh, you know, particular formations and uh, being ready to go. What do you think, like, big games, set things like the Rose Bowl make it a bit more to me or bring communities together? Um, I, I love, you know, I love kind of what the Rose Bowl does, you know, they, they really, really make sure, you know, we get, you know, the football side of it, you know, but yeah, we get to interact, you know, a little bit amongst each other. It makes the, makes the game a lot easier to come by and uh, the week easier, you know, just because you have, you know, different events to so kind of bring the team together a little bit. Especially since you know we're not together on the holiday season. Thank you, Steven, Do you worry about your teammates being overwhelmed by the moment of playing in, in the Rose Bowl game? No, not at all. Uh, I feel like you know this is a special group right here, and I feel like every everyone at that field, I know every one of us is ready for this game. This game right here. I mean, we've been we've been talking about this since you know last one of workouts. Uh, you know, it starts it started in there, and then. Uh, it, 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 it came on to be, you know, in summer that we really started to mold together closer and closer in the fall camp, as you know, uh, we're by smoke. So I feel like each and every season, this is what we've been talking about. And uh, this, is, this is what we made. What does it mean to play in the Rose Bowl game itself, in the Rose Bowl? Uh, man, it's a blessing. I mean, I, I've grown up watching the Rose Bowl, you know, my whole life. Uh, you know, one, of the, one of my favorite games actually was the USC Texas game. Um, and that right there, I mean, it, it still gets me till today. I'm like, man, I was going for USC that, that, that game or that day. And, uh, yeah, it, was a, it was a great game. Vince Young put, put together a great drive at the end to finish it out. But that's one of my favorite all-time games. So when you talk about USC Texas, does Baker remind you a little bit of Vince Young? Um, I, I would say you can say that, but then again, Baker is Baker. I feel like Baker has his own unique brand. Uh, you know, he's going to be remembered in college football for a long time. All right, thank you.
As far as uh, this past offseason, of course, you stepped down. Was there any sort of hurt you feel like you guys had to get past or you guys did at all? I feel like it was pretty smooth. I feel like everything was pretty smooth. The trans uh, transition uh, between coaches and, and uh, players really adjusting to it on the fly. I feel like everything was smooth in the way just how it should have been. Was there anything that changed as far as your day to day that you felt like? Or was it pretty much the same? Uh, I feel like you try to keep everything the same. Um, you know, we have a rhythm here at the University of Oklahoma already. He didn't want to change that. Uh, he wanted to basically just keep on, keep on going and make, making sure that we keep on setting the standard.